Mass Shorts. Proportional relationships. Two quantities are said to be directly proportional if they vary at the same rate. Meet Carl. He's mixing punch for a party. The recipe calls for two cups of juice for every cup of ginger ale. If he doubles his recipe, meaning he multiplies it by two to start with four cups of juice, he'll need two cups of ginger ale to keep the ratio of juice to ginger ale two to one. If he triples his recipe, he'll need three cups of ginger ale. All the ratios of juice to ginger ale are equivalent. They all simplify to two to one. This means that the relationship between the two quantities of juice and ginger ale are directly proportional. Another way to see proportions is with a graph. We can plot two cups of juice and one cup of ginger ale like this. We can show how Carl doubles and triples the original recipe like this. A straight line through the data points shows a direct proportional relationship as long as the line goes through the origin. But what happens when the line doesn't begin at the origin? Check out this graph. The line starts at three cups of ginger ale, so we would need to add three to all our previous answers on the table. But if we do that, the ratio of juice to ginger ale is no longer constant. The two quantities don't increase at the same rate. This is not direct proportionality, and Carl's punch won't taste so great. Ratios, tables, and graphs can help us identify proportional relationships and make awesome punch.